to do a walking tour uh, with the people at the hostel and me. Um, we started in the Liberation Square and we were just going over some history about Guadalajara and we then went and saw a little show behind the theater. It was a Boy Scout troop and they were performing a typical dance that was popular in this region of Jalisco. And so I'm not sure what the dance is called, but I'm pretty sure you can find out. It's the dance of the Tapatio, is the people here. So if you look that up, I'm sure you can find it on Google. And then we proceeded to go to the Palacio de Gobierno, and it's where there's this really cool artwork um, that was depicting a lot of different types of war. I think the author or the, the, the painter was James Orozco or something, and I'm sure you can look that up as well. Uh, just a lot of um, war, different periods of war that he was painting on the middle mural there. And we walked through further uh, of the palace and we saw another mural which was pretty cool as well. A lot of history in there, painted in there of the history of independence and reformation or something like that. And then we walked a little bit more. We went to uh, this very un unknown market. It's called uh, Mercado Alcalde, A-L-C-A-L-D-E, and it's where the locals go. And when we went there, there was a lot of different types of fruits and veggies, uh, meats, and there was a cafeteria where you can have uh, birria, but with cow instead of goat. And I had to say it was pretty good, it was spicy. You put onions and limon on it, and you eat it with the tortilla, tortilla, and then you just dip it into the sauce and you eat it. Very delicious. Um, didn't catch a clip clip of that, unfortunately. Um, and on the way out, we headed back towards the square, and then we stopped by this little place called Cantina La Fuente, and it's a place where it used to be somewhat of a uh, for men only, because there were used to be women in there. And men would go in there to drink, and uh, women would, I guess, um, make you know, uh, entertain them in a way. And now what they do is they sell tequila and beer. When we went in there, we had a resposado tequila, uh, I think a shot or two, and then uh, we also got a beer in there. It's a very cool environment to go if uh, you haven't have a chance. Uh, during the daytime, it's not so busy, but when 2 p.m. strikes, that's when a lot of people come in and just try to relax. And I've also heard that later in the evening, people come there and they sing out loud. Very traditional, very um, very fun environment. I have not had a chance to come back yet, but a uh, cool place to check out if you're there. And that was pretty much the walking tour. Uh, it was fun. Uh, I didn't buy anything. I uh, just got to hear a lot of history about the city, which is very interesting. And then evening, there was a uh, tequila night. So in the hostel, we drank uh, some tequila. We played a, a drinking game that was you spin like a dreidel. And then as things come up, you would either pour drinks or you would drink the drink. So uh, fortunately, I didn't have to drink too much because I had a lot of drinks earlier in the day. Um, and after that game, we went to the other sister hostel over in Chapultepec and uh, drank with the other people over there, free beer, so uh, that was fun. And then the party even rolled, uh, you rolled on, and we hit a kind of a club scene at the last moment. They played some pretty good songs, uh, all in Spanish, of course, and there was one part where we were doing like a cowboy grapevine dance or something like that that I forgot uh, what it is and there was one point where we even formed a conga line it wasn't a conga song but somehow people in my group they started a conga line I joined in went all the way to the back of the, the club and then up to the front and uh, it was a pretty darn good time <laughs> and uh, finished off the night they went even to another place and uh, just by then I was ready to go so uh, a friend and I just kind of just called it quits and called it an Uber and just headed on home. But overall, a pretty good day. 
and I enjoyed the walking tour, learned a lot. And I re really recommend that if you go to a new city, there's always some kind of free walking tour. Um, usually tips are appreciated, but uh, definitely a, a good way to see the city uh, quickly and uh, from a local who knows the language and who can kind of get you in on the inside because our guide kind of knew the people in the area, so they were very friendly towards him. And um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy this video and uh, see you on the next one. one years old last September when we expected like a huge celebration or something like that because when you turn Guadalajara back in Spain so what's, that's why the name of the city and Guadalajara is from the Arabic that means water that runs through rocks or river that runs through rocks you want to see the dance or something like that that's really yeah. typical from here from Guadalajara it's called Jarabe Tapatia The hardest thing is probably talking on site, like you're standing there talking. I don't like to do that anymore. I switch, I'm switching it around this time where I'll just record clips and then later I'll be talking and I'll overlay the okay. clips on top of it. Okay. It's kind of like me narrating it, but so, it's yeah. a lot easier to, to edit for sure. Cool. <laughs> right. You got downtown like you're flying or something like that? Super Añejo. 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 Super Añ